so glad you guys are all here with us this morning. I'm so happy to see all your smiling faces. If you're visiting with us, thank you so much for taking time out of your vacation to be here with us this morning. We're so excited to have you. Worship service is going to be wonderful this morning. Looking forward to the song singing and for the lesson coming from, from Gary. If you didn't get a chance to grab a bulletin, they're out front near the communion cup, so you'll have a chance in a minute to go back out there. We don't pass communion around uh, right now while we're practicing our, our, our COVID so, uh, dis, uh, social distancing. Sorry, Lisa's out of town. I'm a little off. We have a new puppy. Things are just weird right now. So I'm, I'm a little scatterbrained this morning. Um, announcements. Uh, for the past 10 weeks, we've had a men's Tuesday evening Bible study going on. We are inviting all the men to please come to that at 6 o'clock here at the building. We're going to be starting a new um, anatomy of the revived church, and we are encouraging all men that want to be a, a part of that, please come to that. We would love to have you. I have two extra books we, we have extra books, so see David Bailey if you, if you want to be a part of that. We're still looking for volunteers to help with children's, church, uh, children's worship time. We usually have that right after we have our offering. The children are able to go and spend some time and uh, color and have a worship time about Jesus. And we also have all Bible classes for all ages uh, after morning worship. I did mention about uh, communion. If you didn't get a chance to grab that, you'll have a chance to do that in a minute. We uh, have an extensive prayer list. Please keep the Layman and McCormick family in your prayers. Um, I'm going to mess this name up. Shara Miner has passed away this week, and so we want to keep uh, her husband, Bob, and the family in, in prayer. Um, Melody, uh, Christine, uh, Christine Bays' cousin, was in the, is in the hospital with COVID. Verna Ray, a friend of Christine, uh, fell off his horse last week and has been hospitalized. And uh, Dom Satili, friend of the Walkers, is still dealing with his stage 4 pancreatic cancer. So please keep this prayer list with you and on you and keep them in mind throughout the week. Um, at this time, we'll have our scripture reading and prayer. I'll be reading this morning from John chapter 20, verses 24 through 29. Now Thomas, also called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We've seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my fingers where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting, Thomas, and believe. And Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you've seen me, you've believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Will you join me in prayer? Dear God, our Father in heaven, we come to you this morning not seeing. Father, we come to you only knowing because we believe in your spirit. We believe in your being. We believe in your word. Father, we, we live that, that word in our lives today, Father. And as we worship you this morning, Father, we pray that, you, that our worship will be acceptable to you. We pray that we'll be edified from it, and we pray that the Holy Spirit will be present with us here this morning. Father, we have, as Adam said, many on our prayer list, those who have had accidents, those who have cancer, those who have passed away. Father, we pray that you'll be with them and be with their families, be with their caretakers, be with their doctors, and guide them, and we pray that your will will be done in all those situations. Father, we pray above everything this morning that you will be glorified in our worship. We pray this prayer in Jesus' most holy name. Amen. Amen. One other thing I wanted to mention is the, the blue cards. In the pew in front of you, the back of the pew in front of you, there are blue cards for prayer requests. We're still doing that. So if you have any prayer requests or any prayers of thanksgiving, please fill one of those out. Um, there's offering plates at the back of the auditorium, and you can leave those there, and we will definitely make sure that those get uh, uh, prayed over. 
We're now going to stand up and we're going to welcome everybody for a few minutes. In the back, there's a camera with some, a happy smiling face. If we can turn around and, and wave at that, we got people on Facebook Live and later on YouTube that we say hi to. So we'll take a minute to just welcome everybody. <laughs> 